The FBI says an Army veteran arrested for allegedly planning terror attacks in Southern California went through a rapid radicalization in becoming an Islamic extremist. Investigators say he was plotting a bomb at White House National, a white nationalist rather, rally in Los Angeles last weekend, but agents stepped in and thwarted that attack. CBS's Laura Podesta has more. This is a case that keeps us up at night. Federal prosecutors arrested U.S. Army veteran Mark Stephen Domingo on Friday for plotting to bomb a white supremacist rally in Long Beach, California. He allegedly purchased several hundred three-inch long nails, specifically because the nails were long enough to penetrate the human body. Investigators say the 26-year-old, who recently converted to Islam, was planning retribution for the New Zealand mosque attacks. He was taken into custody after he took receipt of what he thought were pressure cooker bombs. They were inert devices provided by the FBI that posed no danger to the public. The FBI first launched an investigation after noticing his internet posts. On March 3rd, he wrote, America needs another Vegas event to kick off civil unrest, referring to the October 2017 mass shooting in Las Vegas that left 58 people dead. Mr. Domingo said that he wanted to kill Jews as they walked to synagogue. He wanted to kill and target police officers or attack crowds at the Santa Monica Pier. Domingo's brother says his family is surprised by the arrest. And like anybody else, I don't want to assume a thing when someone joins a new religion. If anything, I thought it was a good thing. I thought maybe my brother finally found some sort of guidance in this world. If convicted, Domingo faces up to 15 years in prison. Laura Podesta, CBS News. Domingo was arrested on a charge of providing material support to terrorists, according to the criminal complaint. He had been planning since March to, quote, manufacture and use a weapon of mass destruction in order to commit mass murder.